So I've been a lifelong member of Salem Church and I have been involved with Sunday School for nearly half of that life. So I have taught Sunday School, worked with Sunday School teachers, come up with themes and just been involved with children for a very long time and I think that has made such an impact in my life. I think I know so much about the Bible and trying to teach stories and God's love um, through children's perspective and they often have such a wonderful view of looking at God's love for all of us. In fact, this year, a, um, a little girl that was coming, has come for the first time, told her mother that she was excited to come to Jesus classes. And so she didn't call it Sunday school, so she called it Jesus classes. And I just thought that was a great thing to say, talking about coming to talk about Jesus and learn. And children are very generous, both with their time and their thoughts and what they want to tell you. And I think we have a lot that we can learn from being like a child. We hear about it all the time in the Bible, and I think it's exciting to work with them and teach them. Years ago, uh, the Salem men's group was basically almost uh, uh, one person, and it was Max Putkamp. Uh, Max was, was adamant that we need to have a men's group, and he worked hard at it and, and uh, made some strides, and finally, um, that, that grew into uh, that grew into a huge active community. Uh, the Salem Men's Group uh, is, is, is like the men of Salem. They get together, we have an official board. We do a lot of community action and church action uh, for the greater good. Um, and it is unique to Salem. Uh, I've talked to other churches and my brother-in-law is, is a pastor um, and they don't have uh, those type of groups as we have. So Salem is richly blessed with a very active uh, men's group.